Uh, let's move on. Arkansas. The Arkansas Razorbacks. 2-10 and 10 last year. 0-8 in the conference. Returning starters, they got six back on offense, five back on defense experience-wise. Returning number 20 in the, in the country, number 14 in the conference. Maybe that's a good thing. Possibly a good thing. Five and a half is the over-under. Over is plus 120. Under is minus 300. So Vegas expects <laughs> that they are going to go under this. Uh, and I, I tend to agree, but we'll talk about that in a minute. I'm, I'm going to bet I'm gonna bet five and a half is not the number very long. No. Uh, head coach Chad Morris, 16 and 32 in four years as a head coach. Uh, he is known for offense, but they had the number 118 total offense last year. Both of their quarterbacks are gone. So SMU transfer quarterback Ben Hicks is the favorite to start, but don't forget uh, Texas A&M transfer Matt Starkle is now on campus. He could push. Uh, but Ben Hicks was with Morris at SMU. He's a senior, et cetera. Offensive line has got to improve to allow their game plan to work. They've they only got bad. two starters back. They were bad. Yeah, they were really bad. Um, but the, the young guys have got to improve quickly. That's right. Uh, period. Middle linebacker Dejon Harris leads the defense. He had 118 tackles. That was third in the SEC last year. Uh, defensive line and edge are both good. The secondary is really thin for John Chavis, which means... Maybe he's not able to do exactly what he wants to do. They went from a downhill offense to the spread, and the personnel just didn't fit, and they still really don't fit. Uh, it's going to take a bit to reteam or to rebuild this team. The non-conference this year, pretty easy. That Sorry. that's why the number is as high as it is. Uh, their non-conference slate: Western Kentucky, San Jose State, Colorado State, Portland State. Like that's four wins that. Last year, we're not even a guarantee, right? Because they, right. they got smoked at home by North Texas, and they went on the road and lost to Colorado State. Uh, but I think that this year, with a little more familiarity at the quarterback position, they'll be able to get those wins done. However, I have got them 0-8 in the SEC again. Me too. Uh, I've got them 4-8 overall. You got the same thing? Same thing. Uh, I, I'm just not a huge Chad Morris believer. I don't... Yes, maybe it was time for Bielema to be gone at Arkansas. He was not able to get the results that they were expecting from there. They were expecting national titles. But but they went from a spread team with Petrino. To a power run to team. To a power run team that, that was still trying to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They were looking to uh, not reinvent the offense, but do more than just be a downhill running team. We, we, had, a, we had a clash in, in philosophies on the school, the athletic director, and the the people who run the program want a Petrino type offense. Yeah, but they hired Brett Bieleman, and they were wanting to force a square peg into a round hole. I didn't understand that. Yeah, um, let this guy do what he does, which is build freakishly big athletic offensive linemen and and, and bring put, in running backs. Put yeah, put four or five hundred yards on the ground against people. Yeah. It keeps the defense off the field. You can pay more of an aggressive defense. I like that style of ball. I was yeah. always a Brett Bielman fan. Um, he underperformed, but I think a lot of that is because his hands were tied. I think they were trying to push this. You've got to throw it more. Um, and I don't know that's what he wanted to do. This is the example of why I'm afraid when you take a young coach, or even not a young coach, but a coach at a lower tier program, bring them to the Power Five, and I don't like that they bring everybody with them. Because if those guys were coordinators that were good enough to beat the well, Power no, Five they, level, they would have gotten jobs before. He did it. He did hire Chavis on the defense. Well, like this he, year. He thought, well, no, 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 he's had Chavis. Well, yeah, like no. He had Chavis last year. That's right. Oh, yeah, um, Chavis came the, in. But the deal year. is, like, on offense, he thought, my offense is going to work anywhere. Um, and it might. But 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 there's so much more than just two coordinators that run things. Yeah. All of your position coaches, those guys help recruit. Those guys bring good talent. It, and you you need somebody who knows the lay of the land. Maybe they've got some guys from Arkansas that are on that program. I just don't know who they yeah, but, are. But you can't win with just talent from Arkansas. you got to be able to go into Missouri, into Texas, into Louisiana. Louisiana, yeah, like, that's right. And get guys. And they hadn't been able to do that yet. Um, you know, I... I just I'm not a big Chad Morris believer. I'm like not he, either. Three of his four years, he has been uh, he's had a, a losing record, and they hired him from SMU off of a seven and five season, where they probably should have been a little bit better. 
but the, he got hired because of what he did at Clemson. That's right. You know, and and he was at Clemson before they started winning national championships. I was just about to say that. Like he he did help build that offense. And now remember, he was a high school coach before that. But I I just I don't know. Chad Morris has not proven to me that he can be a successful big time head coach. He had never been a college coach I, before before he took the SMU job. So, and he had never been even a college assistant before he went to Clemson. But he was able to transition them into more of a spread, more up tempo type thing. And I mean, how many people have caught up to what he is doing? Well, like everybody's the, doing it now. That's that's the thing, right? He wasn't so, anything. He was something different back then. And now, eight years later, the whole, the whole everybody knows how to stop it. Like that's it, right. Like Alabama in 2011 could not keep up with, you know, up tempo teams, and now Alabama is an up tempo team. That's right. Like that's just the way the it game goes. has evolved. Yes, and and I don't know that Chad Morris has enough innovation in him to be able to make this a really successful team. Uh, and obviously, he can prove me wrong. Oh yeah. And Arkansas fans, I'm sure, will come out and say that, but. I, at I don't know, point, man. I mean, I, I'm, we, we live close to Arkansas, and there's a lot of Arkansas people around yeah. here. For those that don't know, we're in Memphis. Yeah. And so, like, and, we, and so we, like, I, I'm surrounded with a lot of Arkansas people. They love their school. They love their program. And last but, year... But like, none it, of them are so... They, they also saw last year as a, a year zero. But before the season, they were hyped up because Chad Morris always bringing this spread. True. We're going to... That's right. You know, we, we're going to a bowl game. We're doing all this. I, and I, it think, just, I think they could see a six and six year... With wins against Kentucky and Ole Miss, maybe, and and now you're not in the cellar of the SEC and all this other stuff. I don't see that. Well, I mean, you, you, the bad thing, like your home schedule, like because I don't think you're going to win at LSU. You're not going to win at Alabama. A uh, and M has beaten you, even when you were good, has beaten you every year. Well, there's just different level of talent. Yeah, and and that's the thing. So they play at Kentucky. Uh, they got Mississippi State coming in, um, which, I mean, they. Maybe they catch Mississippi State sleeping. Maybe. At, Man, you know. I'd be shocked if State falls that far. Um, I think State's going to step back a little bit, but I don't think they're going to fall that far. No, and uh, then you've got Arkansas would just have to be substantially better than – we just have to be wrong on Arkansas. Yeah. If if they beat State, we, we're just wrong Yeah. about who they are yeah. and their identity. And that's okay. That's but, a, the the over-under seemed really high at five and a half. Yes. I mean, we both got I, them at four and eight. I was about to say yes. I'd be shocked. I'd be shocked if they get six. If if they go two straight years with no SEC wins. That's, I'm that, wondering how short the leash is. That's exactly what I was going to say. Well, because last year, not we all assumed. No, yeah, I'm going to say he's on the cheap. Last year, we all assumed was a year zero. Yeah. And if that's a year zero, this is year one, you got to understand you still still got a lot of growing to do. Yeah. Next year, you don't win a you don't win a conference game in two years. Next year, you got to be a whole lot better than six yeah. and six. Yeah. Like we got to go from four and eight all the way to you know eight, eight and, four. and four. I mean, you got to flip this thing. I mean, going from two and ten to four and eight, like that's an improvement. But true, how much? But I think you improve that because you changed the schedule. Yeah. You didn't really prove it. You just moved the goal line closer. Yeah. Because you're not playing North Texas this year, and right. you're getting that revenge against Colorado State, and that's they're coming to Arkansas. Good gracious! 